Hello, good night. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. Tonight, we're going to do a shirt blouse. Now, I'm going to be working on a miniature and um, I'm going to try and get through it as quickly as possible. One of my subscribers asked me to do this. Now, for the shirt blouse, some people like their shirt blouse clothes fitting and some like it loose. Now, we know that everybody wears a shirt blouse. Children wear it to school, you wear it as uniform, whatever it is. And so we just need about three basic measurements for the shirt blouse. Because we won't be doing a pattern, we'll be actually doing just a freehand cutting of the shirt blouse. The way I saw my mom did it, or the way I would do it for myself, or if I just quickly want to make a shirt blouse. So the first thing you want to do, you want to take your shoulder measurement, take your bust measurement, and take the length of the blouse. Now the length of the blouse will be from the highest part of the shoulder, which is under the neck, um, past the waist um, and remember your waist is above your navel right there so maybe five inches or so below the waist so if the length of your blouse from your shoulder to your waist is 16 you probably want to add another five or so inches it doesn't have to reach down to the hip measurement but, um, and of course you probably want to make it comfortable if you're going to tuck it into your pants or your skirt so from the shoulder to anywhere below the navel um, just above the hip measurement okay so three basic measurements and I'll just go through it quickly so you want to get your fabric and whatever your bust measurement is or if you want to use your um, hip measurement you are going to use that to decide the width of the fabric okay so you're just going to fold over your fabric like this use the widest part of your body which is either your hip or your bust um, depending on how long you're going to be making the blouse Okay, and the first thing, the next step is to just, um, so this is what it's looking like. And if I'm going to cut it, all I'll do is just cut. You want to ensure that you have a straight line at the top. So if you're not going to be drawing a line, just use your scissors to straighten the fabric. Okay, and when you straighten the fabric from here to here is one inch down. Okay, and from here to here. It's two and a half inches to three inches. It can be more depending on the size of the person, but um, it's really between two and a half to three inches. So from the center back of the blouse here um, to here is two and a half to three inches. Okay, the next step would be to measure from here to where the shoulder is. So if your shoulder is 16, you're going to divide that in two and you're going to mark from the center back here, okay, from here to here, eight inches, and you're going to put a dot there. And then you're going to come down with a straight line. You can just do that. And you put another dot. If you're doing a pattern, you would actually draw a line. But I just put a dot right here. And that is just to guide me when I'm going to be cutting the line that I should stay in. The next step is to decide from the length of your bows to your waist. Now, this is going to give you the arm and um, the bust measurement. That is just um, right where... The armhole is going to be so from your weight from your shoulder to your waist measurement and if that is 16 you're just going to put another dot right here okay after you do that you are now going to decide on how much um, your bust measurement is and of course you take that from the beginning as I said you need three basic measurements the shoulder the length of the blouse and the bust so if your bust measurement is say 40 inches you're going to divide it in four and you're going to stay right in that line okay remember we're using half of the shoulder to the waist for this measurement for the bust line measurement so if it is eight inches you're going to just try to put a dot there where the eight inches is if you were doing a pattern you draw a line across and you would call it um, the bust line so you just put a dot there and from there, you can make another dot because you want to give this an allowance. And that is how you do the back of the, um, of the shirt blouse. So we're going to draw a line there. We're going to come here. We have one dot to indicate where the shoulder is. And I'm going to cut that. You also want to put another dot where the 8 inches is, which is the base. Because sometimes the side of the blouse is too wide and you want it to give it a little definition just to come in a little bit. So I'm going to cut that and let you see. So I'll be cutting it now freehand and that is how you do it and of course you'd ensure that you have some allowance there okay and then you'd come down here and you'd stay right in the line there okay and that is it now so you're right in the bust line there 
Now this line will help you, guide you as to give it, because you can leave it as straight as this, but sometimes you just need a little definition as I say. So you want to trim that off and just go in a little bit and take off a little bit down the bottom there. And that is how you cut a quick shirt blouse. It's not very shaky. So I straighten it up a little as you can see. So that is your shirt blouse. Another thing you want to do, if your bust is 40 inches and it's close fitting, and if you don't want it close, you don't want your blouse close, you can add another little um, two inches to that or an inch and a half. Just something to make you comfortable. Most shirt blouses are actually pretty loose, you know, so, um, and if you're making it for, you know, child's uniform, you don't want it to be tight on the child. Okay, the next step maybe we can do is just, if, if you want to curve the bottom of your shirt blouse, you just curve it around like this. That is if you want to curve it, you know, just randomly cut it, you know, it's freehand. All right, so there it is, it's freehand. You can leave it straight, but you know, you can just do that if you choose to. The next step is to get the front of the fabric, which is two pieces, and you're going to fold under two and a half to three inches, and that is how you should place it. After you do that, you want to put the back onto the front in the center there, because that is going to be the overlap and the buttons are going to be right in the middle area. So you want to ensure that it's just about there. Hope you're seeing it. Okay, and you will now use the front to cut the back, but before the back to cut the front. But before you do that, you just want to go down about two and a half to three inches at the front here. All right, and I'll just use my tape measure to show you how to do that. Okay, so it's about three inches. So you'd mark that three inches. And then what you'll do, you'll dot there. So you know that this is going to come right in there. And you're going to just, I'm just marking it, but you just cut it freehand. So I'm just going to cut this now and let you see what it's looking like. So that is that, that is that, all right, but I lift it away and go down to the two and a half or three inches. Remember, if it's for a child, it's actually going to be a little shorter, a little less than the three inches. I will also just curve the side here, curve the bottom I mean. Remember, you can you leave your straight, um, more so if it's a child's uniform, and um, you just cut the arm here and cut this here, and that is how you make your shirt blouse. Another thing you want to do, you can just take out a little half inch of the front area of the blouse like that so this is our shirt blouse okay quick free 